hi ladies so yes I decided to come in here and literally have a face-on-face -face convo with myself as long as with and as well as with you I find that today's JLo challenge has triggered me um, triggered my emotions and I'm a little bit out of whack so bear with me I find that this journey has only allowed me to embrace who I am with my flaws, um, with all of me. Uh, I started my journey at 215 pounds, but before then, all of my life, um, all of my youthful years were filled with a lot of self-loathing, a lot of um, nitpicking, a lot of self-hate, a lot of distorted image of who I am. Um, and needless to say, that affects your self-esteem, that affects the way that you conduct yourself in social gatherings, um, how you socialize, how you deal on a day-to-day -day basis. And I find that this journey has helped me a lot, unpeeling the onion, as I like to call it, and embracing all of me, flaws and all, because at the end of the day, this is me. And God has given me this body. He has given me my life. My heart came with a purpose the day that I entered this world. And although I have a lot of flaws, I also have had to embrace me for me. And today's challenge brought about a lot of turmoil. It brought back a lot of the past, a lot of the past thoughts that I've had to come clear with um, and understand them. They're very tangible because I lived it for so long that you play this video in your mindset for so many years. I started this journey, what, like six years ago? So I was in my early 30s. I'm 37 years old today, but those are decades of internal self defeating thoughts that I created in my mind. I believed things that were said to me and unfortunately I believed it so that then I became my own um, worst enemy. And I didn't love the skin that I was in. Um, till this day, I didn't realize I still had a lot of things to deal with. And when I was taking the picture and I was just seeing my reflection on the other end, I'm like, wow, but I am nowhere near this woman. And that's where, as women, we need to truly just snap out of it and allow ourselves to embrace us for who we are. I'm not trying to be J-Lo. I am not trying to be Beyonce. I'm not trying to be whoever um, social media portrays as the perfect body, as the perfect woman, or what a woman should look like. What I've been trying to do ever since I said yes to me was to embrace Norris for who she is with her stretch marks with her flab because there are certain areas in my body that won't be the same but this same body has allowed me to continue this journey up to now I've been able to carry two beautiful kids full term yes did I gain 60 plus pounds with those kids absolutely I've been able to nurture them. I've been able to breastfeed them. So yes, my boobs are not where they used to be, but I've embraced it. And yes, I touch my body because this is the skin that I will be in for the rest of my life until God calls me. Um, and that in itself is freeing to me. And I'm thankful for the journey. I'm thankful for the challenges. And as silly as this can sound, today's exercise has allowed me now to break another layer that I needed to. And th today I am blessed that I'm able to, through this beautiful piece of art phone, I can video record and share my thoughts with you as I'm trying to filter them and, and, and settle in in my own spirit. Self-love and self-journey is not an easy one because, um. We can be our worst enemies and we can be so critical of our own selves like, oh, you shouldn't be there. You should be better at this point. Um, you are lacking in here. You're not up to par in so many areas of your life. Like, how dare you, you know? And I had to stop myself and I said, you know what, Norris? Can you just stop for a minute and acknowledge that you are human? 
that you make mistakes till this day. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm failing so much, but I'm failing forward. And my hope for you today is that besides the whole get up and the the beanie and the cute workout clothes, that you realize that I also deal with my own, that I'm sure you're dealing with your own. And I encourage you, even if you don't post it on social media, to do it. Do this exercise for you. And as you're doing it, notice the thoughts that are happening inside. Check your thoughts out. Filter them. See where you're falling short. Because if you're not in your corner, no one else will be. And today I had that convo with Norris. I wasn't in my corner. I was actually so wrong with myself. Like I wouldn't speak to my friends the way that I was talking to myself internally because my daughter was in the living room. My husband was taking the pictures. So I truly was keeping all of that inside and I'm like, wow, I still have tons to work on. So some days are better than others. Today was one of those where I realized that yes, I've come a long way. Yes, I've released 85 pounds, but there's still areas in my body and in myself that I need to acknowledge, nurture, and appreciate them for what they are. So my flab and my stretch marks are number one. I've always had, um, what is that called? Como complejo. I've always had a complejo of my arm because I had a really ugly accident as a young kid and I have eight stitches there. So when I was younger, I was always very overweight. So all the fat just lingers around and it's a beautiful reminder of that stage in my life that happened in the Dominican Republic. So every time I stand, I look at that and I'm like, ooh. And I used to call it um, for your arms, you know that chicken skin in the bottom, pollito. And aren't we so rude? Like we we name ourselves these ugly things, and then we start believing them. Like I never used to wear sleeveless because of it, and I was always very self conscious, and that's why I always had long hair. Um, and today, just on that simple exercise, all of this came back, and I'm like, wow. But look at her arms, and look at mine. I'm so like far off like people are gonna make fun of you and I'm like who cares and these are all the things that went through my mind and I'm just <sighs> beating myself up because I was thinking that way like I know better so I should do better but I think that we're always on a constant battle um and as long as we're clear on them and we are understanding of them and bring them to light and then let them go that's exactly what I wish upon you so my arms may not be you know, where I want them to be. But you know what? They hold me up on my push-ups, on my girl push-ups, you know. Um, the flab has become better. I also have <laughs> arthritis on this side of my arm, um, on my shoulder. And I also have herniated disc and I have pinched nerves. So hence why it might not be as strong because I'm not able to do the workouts as um, hard, you know, like go heavy on some weights, but I've come a long way. My belly, my belly carried two beautiful kids, as I said, Adam and Elias, my biggest blessings. So many women wish they could carry, so many women wish they could be moms, and here I am complaining about my flap. I have some baby abs coming along. I haven't done surgery, I have opted out of that. Not against it, truly, I thought of it. Um, but that right there symbolizes that I said yes to life. I said yes to life. I allowed my body to be someone else's home. And what a blessing that has been. <laughs> what a blessing that has been. I also have a C-section. I won't go deeper because, you know, I'll show you my, my cooch. Um, <laughs> I also have a C-section here um, because I had a fibroid removed at the age of 26. So my body has endured a lot. I've dealt a lot with my ovaries. I've dealt with myself for many years. And here I am now, embracing all of me. So as silly and as cute that whole pose is, it's allowed me to tap into a lot of things that I need to continue to work on. And just confirming that we are forever a work in progress. And standing in the mirror for me was never easy. And 
One of the reasons why I'm doing it right now is because I felt it in my heart to share me with you and just truly um, overflowing and gratitude overflowing in, in a lot of emotions right now and I'm just allowing myself to be. I know that I might sound silly to some, but this journey has been so much more and once you own the skin that you're in, once you own your journey and your flaws, like I always had an issue with my shoulders, but look, now I'm getting, I have even bone structure there, you know, and the flab is there to remind me that I've never given up, that I've been um, heavier, but I've also have tapped into a lot of um, untapped potential, you know, and I have reserves still and I still have a way, a long way to go, but I am stronger than I was five years ago, six years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, oh my goodness, even when I was five. And all the things that I was told as a kid, um, gorda, you'll never be, um, la máquina tuya no fue hecha. Like, you know, I even was told that once, like, you just gotta get over it. Your, your, your body was never made to be thin, was never made to be a certain way, just get over it. Um, and here I stand today. I am me and I'm embracing all that I am. I am breaking my own records, not the ones that were given to me by exes, by assholes, by family members, by critics that we will always have. I am embracing me for who I am. And today I choose me. I choose this body and I'm thankful for it. And I wish you all the very best on your journey, but I also want you to embrace you. And if you don't have a full-size mirror, please purchase one and have it nearby. I think that we're living in the selfie world and it's only showcasing our face and the areas that we want to look at. But I think we need to step back and just embrace all of us, chichos and all. Because you see a lot of these poses and Ooh. But when we sit, <laughs> we have a lot in common, unless you've done the tummy tucks or whatever you've done. But we all have teach us to work on. That's just human. That's just us being human people. Like we are part of it and we're in it together. All we're here to do is become better at living at embracing who we are, embracing the skin that we were given and fueling our bodies as we love it because we have to love our body in order for us to function and live. And if you don't get along with you, if you don't have a good relationship with you, you cannot expect to have a good relationship with anyone. So right now I'm blessed because my husband saw all the emotions I was dealing with. Um, I'm thankful for him and for his support. And he's like, you really need a moment. And I said, yeah, I need it. Because I felt like I was suffocating. Um, and he took the kids out. And I appreciate that because I'm able now to kind of debrief with you. Um, and I thank you for your time. I don't want to keep you longer. But I do want to encourage you that um, these little challenges are, are meant for so much more. A simple exercise as tap into your inner J-Lo um, can reveal so much. And I truly encourage you to do it. Tap into what's happening as you're taking the pictures and what is it that's not allowing you to post the picture or even take your before pictures, your measurements. What's not allowing you to face your truth? Just face it and I guarantee you, you're going to become stronger at the end. Breakthroughs are right there, but you need to accept the challenge and ensure that you believe in you because you are amazing. You are beautiful just the way that you are. All that we're doing here is becoming better each day. Not because we hate ourselves, but because we understand that in order to live in this world, we need to give ourselves love, put ourselves first in our priority list so that we can fuel and give from a full cup. We are always wanting, and I know that that is my major goal, is to always be in an overflow. And the moment that I'm not, I need to go and re-figure things out and make sure I'm back at it again. Be blessed, guys. Have an amazing weekend. And tap into your potential. Tap into your inner J-Lo. Um, take the challenge. Post it here in the group. It's safe here. Or if you want to go publicly, go ahead and do that. Share your thoughts below. I hope that um, we can all come together on this and really embrace our 
brilliance. Love you.